How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And, uh, yeah, um, it's wheat wine time. Wheat wine time with a whole bunch of stuff going on in wheat wine time in a form of a Jack Yo's, uh, Would You Honey. Um, great name. I uh, love the name. And uh, super excited to give this a whirl. Um, I do not get any Jack Yo's in my area. Um, but I have had a few of their offerings. I've had a couple variants of their uh, Dark Apparition and their Oil Aphrodite. Really nice beers. I reviewed um, their uh, Skipping Stone, which is bourbon barrel aged quad. Really like it. Super bore bourbon forward. Should have let it sit a little bit longer, but it was a really nice beer. Um, and I've done their Brick Kiln, which I haven't uploaded yet, but by the time this goes up, probably will be up. Not sure. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, everything I've had from them, absolutely fantastic. And, uh, and, you know, we just don't get it in my area. And I was lucky enough to have Jackie O's send me some out. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, super chomping out the bit to get this uh, review them. I, I got this about four hours ago, so long enough to throw it in the fridge, get it in temp. It's right around 50 degrees. And um, review it and see what she has to offer. So, yeah, as far as what it says on the bottle, a uh, nice little fatty bottle, kind of like your, um, what is it? What's the, you know, 12.7% alcohol, like your thick fat kind of glass, like your Angel Share, your Lost Abbey style glasses. Uh, it says, Jackie O's, would you honey, wheat wine style ale, brewed with honey, and Asian bourbon barrels. It's like they read my mind, because um, I love honey based beers, and I like bourbon barrel beers, and I like wheat wine. So, uh, it says here, would you honey is a wheat wine style ale brewed with generous amounts of local wildflower honey. We age this beer in bourbon barrels for 10 months, elevating the rich caramel and honey characters to luscious heights. Dripping honeycomb, marzipan, and raisin come together for a decadent experience. Pour into your favorite snifter, uh, let warm, let warm, sip, and allow your belly to surrender in the comforting embrace of craft. Uh, let's see. Sustainably crafted with purpose, Jack Yo's 2015. Brewed in bottles, Jack Yo's 2015. Relatively newer bottle, um, but it's barrel aged, so. Um, yeah, Athens, Ohio, 11% alcohol by volume. Label-wise, it is actually fucking ridiculous. Um, the artwork's pretty cool. I really dig it. It's not my favorite style of art. Um, coming from an art background in you know, my day job, it, it, it's not my favorite art style, but I appreciate it. But it's base art, and the, um, all the golden hue in the honeycomb is actually kind of like reflective metal, and it just kind of pops off the, off the label. So I freaking love it. So, yeah. That's a cool for label. Anyway, so let's see what she has to offer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. You know, wheat wines can come in various different colors. They're typically not this dark, though. So, you know, you're talking about spending 11, 10 months in a bourbon barrel. That'll change your uh, change your color on you. Uh, just under a finger. Really pretty. It's a weird one. It's creamy, but it's also on the edges. It's kind of, kind of not as dense. Um, bipolar bubbles like medium small all kind of strewn around everywhere kind of doing their own thing um color wise it's pretty damn dark like i said a bit darker than a typical wheat wine but they can get dark it's a very open to interpretation color style and taste style but yeah i mean she looks she looks good she has legs for days too which is always nice really nice so yeah Let's see what she has in the nose. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. I think this is going to be pretty freaking awesome because I'm getting a ton of, like, dark fruit. A lot of raisin in there. Get a lot of raisin. Get a little bit of vanilla. Get a nice little bourbon sweetness in there. Really not much booze in this at all. I'm almost like that bourbon kind of reduced when you cook with it bourbon flavor as opposed to straight booze. Caramel, molasses, that raisin is so rich. Very dessert beer, very rich, very delicious smelling. And uh, yeah, doesn't really smell much like a wheat wine actually. It smells more like a barley wine, just kind of a ramped up old ale-ish. But I mean, you're spending time in a barrel, so kooky things can happen. So yeah, she looks awesome. She smells awesome. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. That's for me. Um, this is delicious. This is delicious. The balance between the beer and the barrel is practically spot on. You're getting this rich, de decadent um, raisin um, taste in it. Um, it's, it's, I can't even talk about how rich it is. It's, it's, it's right up my alley. I'm a huge aged beer pour. Um, it's definitely something that gets me all man parts tingling and shit. And this is tastes like a, an old beer, like about an eight year old beer where it sits right now. There are, there are green parts of the beer. There's a little bit of booziness there. Things like that that you typically can't get rid of without time. But that raisin is a rich, deep, dark, aged beer kind of raisin going on. You do get a little bit of honey out of it. But it's like a it's like an echo of honey that used to be there. It's kind of melded together with the beer uh, because it's been aged in a barrel. And just add that vanilla and just the ever so slightest bit of like a um, like a charred coconut kinda of in there. It all kind of melds together, become this kind of like dessert kind of taste. I think that's where we're going with the whole marzipan thing. Actually, I've never had marzipan, so I couldn't even talk about that. But um, you're getting that combination of the honey with the vanilla, which is just a, total, just a touch of toasted coconut to make this kind of dessert candy. R raisins definitely lead the way. You're getting that, again, that kind of reduced bourbon flavor out of it. Like, if you were to use bourbon in cooking, whether it was in a main dish or in a dessert where you kind of reduce it down and use it as a drizzle, it doesn't, it loses that kind of alcohol and turns into almost like a, um, like a, like a, a, a reduction. It's, it's not booze anymore. It's more of sweetness. And that's kind of what you're getting from this. You're not getting too much booziness out of there. It drinks absolutely fantastic. You ever saw the slightest bit of heat on the back end. It's a 2015 version. This is probably something you want to let sit for a while. Actually, I'm going to retract that. It's drinking fantastic. That ever so slightest bit of burn is not even a like afterthought. I just need to describe everything I'm kind of tasting here. It, it's it, I think it'll age gracefully, um, but opening it newer rather than older, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. So I think it'll gain in certain areas and lose in certain areas. I don't think it'll get worse. Um, absolutely fantastic beer. It's very not wheat wine-ish, like I said. Um, it's more old ale, English barley wine for me. But again, wheat wine, barley wine. You're kind of you're almost splitting hairs sometimes, and, and it, it, it's more of you're getting that rich malt with your with your um, with your barley wine as opposed to with your wheat wine. You're typically not getting that rich malt character. But I think combination of the honey and the barrel aging kind of you know flips the script on that and uh, makes it sweet, but just gives it the ever so slightest bit of creaminess, beautiful mouthfeel. I should have said that, especially spending time in a barrel. And um, that raisin is so deep and rich that you almost get a slight bit of like savoriness with it too, which just, just tickles me pink. So yeah, it was absolutely fantastic beer. If you like what, will you like this? It's going to be a weird one, because I'm going to start naming beers that have nothing to do with wheat wines. The barrel character I'm getting off of this, but it's a different beer, but the barrel character melded with the beer. If you like Trogues, Burn Barrel Age, Flying Mooflin, which is American Barley Wing. If you like King's Anniversary Series, they're uh, 365, 1095, and the 730, whatever it is, I don't know. I'm like, bad at math. Um, those have that, uh, very similar barrel characteristics to them. Um, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this beer. Um, the only thing, like I said, has a really nice mouthfeel to it. I just, again, s you know, totally pick splitting hairs here, but I wish it was just a little bit denser. But it is a wheat wine, so you just, you know, can't have it all sometimes with a specific style. But, rating-wise, um, hmm, 94, just does it to me. Those raisins, man. Raisins and honey. You know, okay. Honey, raisins, chilies. Um, yeah, I'm a whore. Um, you can buy my love with those flavors in your beer. Done the right way, because you can't make shit beer with those flavors. And they've actually made it perfect, and that raisin just leads the way for me. And, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So 94 overall, valued availability, no idea. Sent to me, 
Can't get Jackie O's in my area, unfortunately, but hopefully soon, because they're a bordering state, so come on, baby. Um, and uh, just a fantastic beer. Absolutely something. If you're into those previous beers I mentioned, you should definitely give it a whirl. So there you go. Another review in the books. Jackie O's uh, Would Ya Honey. Uh, wheat wine brewed with uh, honey and raisins. No, not raisins. Uh, uh, ooh, sorry. Uh, Asian burn barrels. It tastes like raisins. That's why I said that. Anyway, uh, pick it up. It's delicious. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. You can like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, and Massive Beers at all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hope you're in a beautiful, beautiful beer right now. And uh, hope to see you next time. Cheers.